What's going on guys? Uh, same video as the other one. Still wearing the Fallout and the Fallout uh, that I got from a loot crate. I didn't get these from the same loot crate. They're actually two different loot crates that I got these items from. But uh, out of this loot crate, uh, I actually have a a figure that I got, which I I was pretty surprised about. Um, yeah, I was pretty surprised. Um, so yeah, let's get in. Uh, before we get into this, I just wanted to say, uh, right here is my Instagram, so go check that out real quick. But anyways, uh, uh, I'm sorry guys, I just kind of went blank. Oh, I have the figure, it's up here. I am going to be doing the review on that figure tomorrow, and I have more figures on the way, so just kind of stay tuned for those. Um, I was deciding whether I wanted to wait until I get the 2002 uh, by my birthday, but I was like, well, that's kind of a long time. I, I want to do some reviews, and yeah, but anyways, let's get into this review this is a kid robot funny figure and i've had other funny figures uh, if you go look at my uh, uh collection video you'll see i have two uh funny stuffed animal uh, figures that i got from loot crate which i was really happy about i was really happy about but uh anyways let's get into this so there are two versions that you could have got there are the 1954 Godzilla and Mega Godzilla, and I got the 1954. Uh, let's see the side. Uh, yeah, I got the 1954 version. You can kind of see, but yeah, um, I like it. It's it's really cool. I was surprised that they put a Godzilla figure in it, and whenever I saw it, I was so happy. Uh, it was really cool. That's why I highly recommend going to check out Loot Crate, guys. Once in a while, they always throw a Godzilla item in, and whenever they do, it's really cool, and it's just different. They're always different. Um, I wish I would have got a chance to get the Reactor Glow Godzilla, but hopefully... Uh, with loot launcher it comes back around again and you can get it hopefully uh but yeah guys uh i'm not gonna put loot launcher in the description below but i will put in uh lootcrate.com because you could get stuff like this and other items if you're not into godzilla there's like star wars ones and marvel ones and dc ones and uh, I even have a Call of Duty one. There, There's so many different ones, guys. But, yeah, this is going to wrap up this figure review. Uh, I was going to do another top five today. But then I got a loot crate yesterday. And I got this. So, I was, uh, I was like... I was going to do a video yesterday. But then, uh, today, the... Uh, I was waiting on uh, to do the Heisei uh, uh, movies today, and uh, then this, and tomorrow I am going to be doing a Millennium Era Top 5 movies and a, another figure review, and then Monday it should be back to normal, just regular videos, uh, I'll probably post a Top 5, uh, two Top 5s on Godzilla Unleashed DS, uh, Top 5 Flying Monsters and Top 5 Ground Monsters. So, uh, yeah. I've said a lot in this video. Uh, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah. With a collectible paw, it says. Uh, it's a little keychain. Uh, I think it's like a little Godzilla hand, which is pretty cool. Um, 
the Mega Godzilla one looks really cool too. But I'm glad I got the 1954. I'm happy with it. But yeah, um, this video is a little longer than expected. I'm gonna put this back up here. Um, stay tuned because tomorrow I am going to be doing an, a Bandai figure review. And soon enough, soon enough, uh, there's going to be a couple more figures coming in. Um, I'm just going to say three, not including the SH that comes out on my birthday. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy. This is kind of an update video as well as a figure review. And it is a NECA, so this is just going to be a NECA review even though it's not, I think it, anyways, <laughs> hope you enjoyed, peace out.